While the large water cycle is global in scale, the small water cycle occurs at the local scale and operates day and night. The small water cycle can have a big influence on rainfall patterns within a catchment. Powered by solar energy and gravity, water constantly cycles between land and sky. While some of these processes are visible in the form of clouds, rainfall and dew, other processes like evapotranspiration are more mysterious to us. Plants are essential to the small water cycle. Plant roots access water from the soil profile. The water is transported up through the plant and then released into the atmosphere. Every leaf provides a surface for evaporation and condensation. Plants provide a connection between land and atmosphere that keeps water moving. When plants are absent, that connection is largely broken. The soil surface soon dries out and becomes a barrier, preventing infiltration. The surface heats up, making it hard for plants and organisms to survive. The air above the land surface also heats up. This causes big bodies of water vapour to gather in the atmosphere. This is because hot air holds more water than cool air and the hot landscape prevents condensation from occurring. When this vapour eventually falls as rain, it tends to do so with great intensity. By contrast, well-vegetated landscapes are generally cooler because the small water cycle can function to its potential. It can do its job. The more green surfaces we can maintain through our land management, the more likely we are to experience a healthy small water cycle that brings consistent dewfall and gentle, reliable local rainfall.